a massive eruption from an icy volcanic comet detected in the solar system. Astronomers observed a major eruption from a volcanic comet flying through the solar system, likely spewed more than one million tons of debris into space. A bizarre volcanic comet violently erupted, spewing about more than a million tons of gas, ice, and the potential building blocks of life into the solar system. The volatile comet known as 29P Schwarzman Watchman 29P is around 37 miles wide or 60 kilometers wide. It takes around 14.9 years to orbit the sun. 29P is believed to be the most volcanically active comet in our solar system. It's one of the around 100 comets known as the Centaur comets that have been pushed from the Kuiper Belt, a ring of icy comets that lurk beyond Neptune, into a closer orbit around the Sun between those of Jupiter and Neptune, according to NASA. On November 22nd, an amateur astronomer named Patrick Wiggins noticed that 29P had drastically increased in brightness, according to spaceweather.com. Subsequent observations made by other astronomers relieved that, uh, revealed that the spike in luminosity was a result of a massive volcanic eruption, the second largest seen at 29P in the last 12 years, according to the British Astronomical Association, BAA. The largest eruption during this time was a huge outward burst in September 2021. An eruption of this size is pretty rare, Kai Sodar Jones, doctoral candidate, Cardiff University in the UK said, who took a follow-up image of 29P's eruption, told Life Science, it's also difficult to say why this one is so big. The explosion was followed by two smaller outbursts on November 27 and 29, according to BAA. Unlike volcanoes on Earth, which eject scalding hot, scalding hot magma, and ash from the mantle, 29P spits out extremely cold gases and ice from its core. This usually type of uh, volcanic activity is known as cryovolcanism or cold volcanism. Cryovolcanic studies, bodies, which include a handful of other comets and moons in the solar system, such as Saturn's Angelidus, Jupiter's Europa, and Neptune's Triton, have a surface crust surrounded by mainly solid icy cores. Richard Miles, a BAA astronomer who studied 29P, told Life Science, and over time, radiation from the sun can cause a com comet's icy interiors to sublime from sol solids to gas, which causes a buildup of pressure beneath the crust. When radiation from the sun also weakens the crust, that pressure causes the outer shell to crack and cryomagma shoots out into space. The cryomagma from comets like 29P is mainly composed of carbon monoxide and nitrogen gas, as well as some icy solids and liquid hydrocarbons, which may have provided some of the raw materials from which life originated on our Earth, according to NASA's representatives. The ejecta from the most recent eruption of 29P stretched up to 34,800 miles away from the comet and is traveling at speeds of up to 805 miles per hour, according to BAA. The plume probably comprised more than 1 million tons of ejecta, Miles said. Photographs of the eruption comet also show that the plume formed an irregular Pac-Man-like shape, which suggests the eruption originated from a single point or region on the comet's surface, according to Space Weather. These observations back up previous research that suggests 29P's eruptions are linked to its rotation. Miles and Stoddard Jones believe the comet's slower rotation causes solar radiation to absorb more unevenly on the comet, triggering it, the eruptions. So far, eruptions from the comet tend to match up with its 57-day rotation period, the researchers said. Researchers also suspect that 29P's most explosive eruptions follow a cycle based on its orbit around the Sun. A number of large eruptions were detected between 2008-2010, and now two massive explosions have occurred within the last two years, Miles said. It's therefore likely that there will be at least one more major eruption 
from 29P by the end of 2023, he said. However, it's less clear how this longer eruption cycle is occurring, because unlike most other comets which get closer to the Sun during a specific period of their orbits, 29P has a largely circular orbit, meaning it never gets much closer to the Sun than its average distance. 29P has largely been ignored by the astronomical community since its discovery in 1927, but as new evidence emerges about its unusual volcanic activity, it's a starting to be uh, it's, it is starting to take to be taken more seriously. Clearly, there is something new to be discovered in studying 29P. Miles said, "The James Space uh, uh, James Webb Space Telescope is scheduled to take a closer look at 29P early next year." He said, "This is by Harry Baker on Live Science." Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.